Hello, Dr. G here from naturalfoodsdiet.org. I try to look for the root causes of patients' health problems rather than just giving a drug to suppress symptoms. It's kind of like the guy who's driving his car and the check engine oil light starts to flash and it blinds him in one eye. Now, rather than investigating the cause, he puts a piece of duct tape over the light so that he can safely drive home. Problem solved. Well, not really. Once the engine freezes, he'll be stuck and it'll cost him at least $4,000 to replace the blown engine. So when I'm looking for root causes of problems in my patients with chronic diseases, I consider checking mercury levels. Mercury is a neurotoxin that many studies show it's correlated to numerous chronic diseases. Now today I just want to let you know about some new information that sheds more light on the maternal mercury exposure and fish consumption and the risk of having a child with ADHD. That's Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Now in a recent publication in the Archives of Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine, there was a report that shows it appears, uh, this report appears to be solid research. It's from a prospective birth co cohort study. And it's of hundreds of mothers and their children from birth to eight years old. Now the results, which are not that surprising, showed that mothers with the highest mercury levels and this was tested by hair analysis, had the greatest risk of having a child with ADHD. And in this study, there was also a dose response, meaning that the higher the mercury level, the greater the chance of having a child with ADHD. Now, I know many of you out there are probably thinking, didn't this guy do a video recently telling us to eat more fish? Okay, I admit I did. But listen to this. In this study, mothers that ate two or more servings of fish each, each week had less than half the risk of having a child with ADHD compared to average. So I stand by my previous advice, eat more fish, especially if you're pregnant. Now I would add you should try to avoid contaminated fish like contaminated seafood from polluted waters. I'd also avoid shark, swordfish, whale blubber, and some uh, species of tuna. Uh, take a look at my video, Eat More Fish. Now, another thing I would recommend is don't let your dentist put amalgam fillings in your teeth. And don't let those medical types inject you with timerosol preserved vaccines. And another thing I'd recommend is stop playing with that cool stuff that comes out of a mercury thermometer. And one more thing, you know those crazy corkscrew shaped light bulbs that blind you when you look at them? Well, if you break one of those in your kitchen, you'll get exposed to a lot more mercury than in a fish. This is Dr. G. Please share this video with a friend or family member and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.